I recently read The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. Life is an infinite game. The goal is not to win. You'll never be declared the winner of life. The goal is to play as long as possible. But few people realize that business is an infinite game as well. You can hit your profit target, but no one will stop the game to give you a trophy. Leaders who play the infinite game of business with a finite mindset struggle to stay in the game. A finite-minded leader will lay people off to cut costs, which kills the company's ability to innovate long-term. A finite-minded manager will keep a high-performing jerk on a team just to hit short-term goals, but doing so erodes the morale and performance of the team long-term. If you approach business with a finite mindset, you'll discover that chasing wins loses its thrill and your drive to play slowly goes away. But when you approach business with an infinite mindset, you sustain your drive, perform better, and love the people you work with. Approaching business with an infinite mindset allows you to build a business that thrives long after your time is up. But the big question is, how can you and I play the game of business with an infinite mindset when everyone else is obsessed with finite games? The answer is to focus on what I call the three infinite mindset enablers. The last two may surprise you. Infinite mindset enabler number one, your just cause. For nearly 900 days in World War II, the Nazis laid siege to Leningrad, Russia. In the heart of the city, in an underground lab, a group of scientists collected and germinated seeds in the world's first seed bank. During the siege of Leningrad, nine scientists died of starvation, despite being surrounded by edible seeds. Why? The scientists were committed to the just cause of achieving global food security. One surviving scientist who grew different potato seeds in the lab while artillery shells exploded above said it was hard to walk. It was unbearably hard to get up every morning, to move your hands and feet, but it was not in the least difficult to refrain from eating up the collection, for it was impossible to think of eating it up, for what was involved was the cause of your life, the cause of your comrades' lives. Now, a business will never deserve the same level of devotion those seed bank scientists displayed, but if you can clarify a just cause for your business, instead of a generic profit-focused mission statement filled with corporate jargon, you will find the courage to resist short-term pressure and make sacrifices in the hope of attaining your vision. A just cause is an ideal vision of the future for the people you serve. Henry Ford's original just cause was to provide safe and efficient transportation for everyone and open the highways to all mankind. CVS, the American retail store and pharmacy, has a just cause to get people on the path to better health. Like many businesses, Ford and CBS had periods where they'd forgotten their just cause and got sidetracked by profit targets, coinciding with periods of decline. But when they renewed their commitment to their cause, they strengthened their position in the game of business. CBS recently demonstrated their just cause by removing cigarettes from their stores, a decision investors initially hated, but later realized it was a net benefit. Here are a few questions to determine your just cause. One, what profound change can we make in our customers' lives? Two, what mission are we willing to make sacrifices for? And number three, what idealistic vision is so inspiring that other people will want to join our cause? Once you come up with a cause, test it by imagining that you have a profitable business and suddenly discover a better way to achieve your long-term vision either by developing a new product or changing up your business model. Would you be willing to overhaul your business and give up significant short-term profits to better achieve your long-term mission? If your just cause passes that test, then you should repeat it to yourself at the start of every workday, like a work kickoff mantra, and explain every decision in terms of how it advances your just cause. As long as you stay dedicated to your just cause and the people supporting it, you'll generate the money you need to stay in the game and continue pursuing your cause. Infinite Mindset Enabler number two, your worthy rival. On September 23rd, 2022, Roger Federer hung up his racket and concluded a legendary tennis career. As he sat next to his fiercest rival, Rafael Nadal, Federer and Nadal started to tear up. Despite the rivalry, they were brothers in arms in a relentless pursuit of greatness. They constantly studied and learned from one another. Federer and Nadal's tennis matches were part of an infinite game of constant improvement and had a collective mission to advance the game of tennis. Whoever your rival is, cherish them because they push you to grow and perpetually advance your just cause. Ford sees Toyota as their worthy rival. Over the last three decades, 
Toyota helped Ford believe it was possible to bank quality vehicles with lower input costs. Ford isn't threatened by Toyota. They're inspired by them. Finding a worthy rival not only keeps you in the infinite game by pushing you to be better, it can also help you clarify your cause. In the 80s, Apple used IBM as a foil to help tell the world that Apple was for misfits and innovators. If IBM empowered corporations, Apple empowered the individual. After this summary, list at least five competitors who can push you to be better. Then journal on the question, who on this list can strengthen my cause and improve my process the most? And how might they do that? Infinite mindset enabler number three, rethinking the rules. The rules of an infinite game are in constant flux. Unlike finite games like soccer or chess, where competitors can take comfort in the rules never changing, infinite games keep all the participants on edge because the rules constantly change. You are most likely to fall out of an infinite game when you get too comfortable playing with a current set of rules. Blockbuster got comfortable with the rules of the game that they were dominating. Customers come into brick and mortar stores, rent movies, and pay late fees. But then an infinite minded player entered the game, Netflix. Netflix said those rules were nonsense and came up with their own set of rules. Customers don't leave their houses to rent movies, and they never pay late fees. Blockbuster was slow to adapt to these new rules, and went from the dominant player to a player who was forced to leave the game. Netflix continues to thrive in the infinite game because they continue to change their rules in order to better advance their cause to entertain people. Remember, in the infinite game of business, the rules will change, but you don't have to wait for them to change. You can redefine the game's rules to better advance your just cause at any time. As you play the infinite game, see yourself as a hiker who is always looking for promising new trails instead of merely sticking to the mark trail. In the end, approach life and business with an infinite mindset. Instead of trying to get rich, crush your opponents, and dominate a market, identify a just cause and then find a worthy rival who will constantly push you to advance that cause. As you play the infinite game of business, rethink the rules and remain existentially flexible by allowing your cause to direct your choices and not potential profit. When you prioritize your purpose and your people, your profits will come. That was the core message that I gathered from The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. This book offers a fresh and inspiring take on business that every business leader should read. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'll be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, hit the like button and check out the next video in the top left corner. As always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.